zippity doo da, beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone, this is Chris Brown here again. Now, as you can see behind me, I'm hanging out here in Celebration, Florida. This is just this little community that I live in. Um, it was once owned by Disney. It was uh, one of the top, it's like ranked within the top five safest communities in the United States. But what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to talk about your advertising. Now, a lot of times when businesses think of advertising, they only think about traffic. Uh, obviously, in order to get our message out, we have to have some traffic, right? Um, but traffic is actually free. We can run down the street and we can have this bill, big billboard and get traffic. So um, when it comes down to advertising, you don't necessarily need to spend money in advertising. So what we're going to do in today's video is I'm going to show, show you a little clip that I did. Um, and it was when I was still living in Los Angeles. I was about done in about approximately 2011-ish, somewhere in that range. Um, it was done on uh, Santa Monica Beach there in Los Angeles, California. I'm going to show you how I generated about 154 sales, about $100 to $150 a piece, in only about six hours. Now, I'm going to also share with you how other big corporations have used this. Um, Disney, American Express, Walmart, companies like that are using that. And then some other small independent businesses and how one independent business did it and generated about a million dollars in sales in about a 24-hour period. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, share with you this clip and then we'll finish this up after, this, after that little clip. Hey everybody, this is Chris Brown again. I'm coming to you from Santa Monica, California. Now in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to reveal the secrets of how to generate over 250,000 referrals in a period of six hours and how I was able to do that and how you can do the same thing. Now in order to generate a lot of sales very, very quickly, there's only about two ways to do this. First of all, you got to have a lot of money, whether it's your own personal money, whether you got a business loan, whether it was done through venture capitalists. Needless to say, you need to have a whole lot of money that you can invest into advertising that will then generate a whole bunch of customers. Or you can use the strategy that I'm going to talk about today that requires little or no money at all on your part. Now one of the reasons I came to the beach today is so I could draw you some pictures in the sand so you'll be able to get this, get the visual picture of all of this. Now first of all, you got company A, and this is company A. Let's look at that, company A. And then over here, we're going to draw company B. That B is kind of messed up, but... Company A and Company B. Looks a little clearer on camera than it does in uh, real life. <laughs> okay, so we got Company A and Company B. Now the way that this works, now let's say that Company A is a brand new company and I'm going to explain it in the way that I did this. So Company A is me, so I'm going to put my name down here, Chris. So we got company A, which is Chris, and over here we got company B, which is Joel. Yeah, okay, company B is Joel. Now company A, me, I was a brand new business, had no customers at all. Um, I already had an already established business, but what I did it was a total, in a totally different genre, totally different market so uh, most of my customers would not join the become customers of this new company so I was it was a brand new health and fitness business and what I did is I went over to Joel who had 250,000 leads at that time 250,000 established customers so I made a one-hour phone call from me to Joel and we arranged a deal where Joel then would refer all of his 250,000 customers to me. And that generated, and now I'm not sure if he, he, he referred all of his 250,000 or how many of those that he really did refer to me, but what he did is he sent out a massive email blast to, to at least a percentage of his leads and prospects. And that turned into, I had two products. Uh, first product did $8,700. Let's 
it's not a very clear eight eighty seven hundred dollars in sales and that was first company or first product and the next product did fifty four hundred each sale was worth about a uh, hundred bucks a piece so the first product we did 87 sales the next product we did uh, 54 sales of that product and that was only in a period of about six hours so on Saturday I, I launched let's say invested in a new product it was on an already established product but I paid the investment of what I had to do in order to get started and to sell that product I then this is on Saturday keep in mind this is Saturday uh, about let's say six o'clock in the evening I called had a, a phone conversation with Joel where he then sent out an email blast to all of his or at least a percentage of his 250 we won't put the whole 250 thousand we'll just put 250 K so Joel then re referred a percentage of his 250 thousand customers to my business which is company a which generated 87 sales of the first product and then 54 of the other product or fifty four hundred dollars of the second product in only a period of about six hours so I had this phone call conversation with Joel on Saturday Sunday he's about sometime in the morning uh, he sent out a, a email blast to all of his leads and prospects or again at least a percentage of it and then by six o'clock that evening and uh, he I would say he launched that or sent that out about noon so by six o'clock that evening I had the eighty seven hundred dollars in sales in the first product and fifty four hundred dollars in the second product now what I also had to do is company A which is me I then had to go ahead and pay a finders fee or a referral fee to Joel and he got paid a percentage of the sales that I generated now there's two ways that you can do this now if I would have had a, a, a lot of customers already what I would have done there would have been no money exchange I would have just taken my customers and referred it to Joel Joel then would have referred his customers to me and then there would have been a mutual agreement usually that that the technical term of that strategy is called an ad swap now that might sound impressive but I'm gonna share with you another story and we're gonna look at company a again and company a is Frank Kern and John Reese I'm just gonna put their first names there uh, looks a little bit messed up but Frank Frank Kern and John Reese and they establish relationships with multiple company B so it was not just company B company B let's say company C company D and multiple relationships we'll just leave it at that they then negotiated a deal where all of these companies would then refer their customers back to their business which is company A and within a 24 hour period now hear me this <laughs> within a 24 hour period it was a thousand dollar product sent out by emails and this was all done by emails and in a thousand dollar product and within a 24 hour period that generated into over a million dollars in sales this was the first time in internet marketing that that type of record had been set it's been broken many times since then through people in small medium-sized businesses home-based businesses and they generated a million dollars within a 24-hour period using this strategy 
Now this big M is supposed to represent the golden arches of uh, McDonald's. Now McDonald's uses this strategy too. So if you notice the advertisements that are placed on their uh, the packaging of different products, they especially do this hit this really hard when they do the Monopoly games. Okay, so this N is stands for Nintendo, so Nintendo, PlayStation, stuff like that. So during the Monopoly games, what McDonald's does is they are doing using this strategy again, and they are referring their customers to Nintendo. Now there is a, uh, in California here, there is a grocery store named Vons. So Vons, and that's, there's Vons. And what they will do is they sell the, the for California residents, they sell the uh, Disney park hoppers, Disney tickets, at a discounted rate. So what Vons is now doing is they are referring their customers to Disney. Vons refers their customers to Disney. Now probably, I'm not sure the type of arrangement that they have set up. If uh, Disney is then referring some of their customers back to Vons or if they are just paying them some sort of a commission. And I'm not sure how McDonald's works out there deal as well. Uh, I haven't gone that far. They don't reveal that stuff. But what they do reveal, just by the way that they're operating their business and the stuff that we can tell as individuals, we know that McDonald's is referring their customers over to Nintendo and some of the other uh, companies that are in the uh, Monopoly games and on the packaging of, of McDonald's products mostly in the, on the on the bags and on the cups but these are all ways that they're using this type of strategies to generate tons of referrals now you can do the same thing now I've kind of just lightly gone over this uh, just more or less explain the strategy so when Toy Story got released, uh, the la last Toy Story, Sto Tor Tor Toy Story 3, they had some TV commercials, joint ventures, uh, some business relationships with Walmart. So in the same commercial, they were advertising both Disney, Disney's Toy Story, plus Walmart in the same commercial. I think they did the same thing with one of the credit card companies. I can't remember if it was American Express or which, which company it is. I'm going to try to find those on YouTube and I'll try to make some links in this video or put it off to the side. I'll put it here someplace on this video uh, or on this page, this web page. That way you can find those links and see what I'm uh, more or less talking about. But like I said, I'm just kind of revealing the basics of this secret. There's a couple things that you have to do. First of all, step number one is you have to identify what type of customers or what type of businesses that you would like to establish relationships like this. Uh, for me, let's say in ProStar Profits, my business it deals with usually business owners. That's kind of like my what I really focus on, uh, providing products and services for other business owners. But I have to be careful that the type of businesses that I would establish relationships that my service, my products and services would not be in competition with them. So for me, a great partner, a great business partner in this type of, uh, of the word, this isn't long-term business partnerships, but this is just more or less a contractual agreement that both company A and company B are going to refer each other's customers or figure out what type of deal that we're going to do. But in not my type of business, I might deal with a insurance company, a commercial insurance agency, that uh, because my the type of we both have the same type of customer, but we are not in competition with each other. I might go to a bookkeeper. Again, we might have the same type of customer, but we're not in competition with each other. So the first thing that you're going to need to identify is what type of business owners would you like to build a business relationship? That's the first thing. So that's step number one. Step number two is to negotiate the deal. So whether you're going to send out some marketing materials, uh, preferably what I like to do is I like to actually walk into their place of business and meet them or call them over the phone.
those are the those are the strategies that I like to use. And uh, in our in our uh, program, the unfair advantage marketing program, how to never pay out of pocket for your advertising ever again. I do provide you with the phone scripts that I use, the same type of phone scripts that I use, and a lot of other successful businesses use when we try to make up these type of deals. Now, after you do that, after there's an agreement that has been made, then contracts have to be signed. Uh, that their company A is going to do their part and company B is going to do their part. Whether there's a, whether company A and company B have an established group of customers and we're just going to do an ad swap and refer each other's customers to each other's businesses or one of these businesses is going to refer their customers to one of the businesses company A or company B and then like what like what I did with Joel so with in the case with Joel Joel referred me all of his uh, uh, at least a lot of his customers uh, out of the 250,000 he referred, referred me a lot on um, that generated into $8,700 in sales in the first product and $5,400 in sales in the second product then what I did is I then paid him a referral fee for all the referrals so basically like an affiliate program a commission check and then those contracts have to be signed. So there's only one, two, three, uh, well, four, actually. First of all, you need to figure out what type of businesses that you need to do, uh, you know, what type of businesses would would fit your market, the, the proper relationships, that way you're not in competition with each other. That's step number one. Step number two is to call them and negotiate the deal. Step number three is to have the contract signed and step number four is to actually implement the deal. But I do hope this information was helpful. Again, on the right hand side of this video, you're gonna find our program, the Unfair Advantage Marketing Program, uh, how to never pay out of pocket for your advertising ever again, which will show you and provide you with all the tools that you'll need in order to set this type of a system up. But uh, as I just mentioned, I hope this information was helpful. Take care everyone, have a great day, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye bye now. Now, either on the side of this video or maybe underneath this video, depending on where you're watching this, whether it's on our blog, on YouTube, maybe on our website, depending on where you're, where you're watching this video, you're going to see a little link for what we call the Unfair Advantage Marketing System. Now, once you get started with it, it's a trial period for only a buck. And what we're basically doing here is we're bribing different business owners to uh, be able to get started with these strategies, these bulletproof strategies. That way you can help. That way you can adapt to today's new economy. So once you do that, I'm also going to give you this system where you can you can implement these type of strategies into your business. Now imagine this. You know, advertising is very expensive. Um, it's very expensive because of the results that it's going to give you. But just imagine this. What if you could never have to pay out of pocket for advertising ever again? What if you could? generate $15,000 in, in, in revenue or a million dollars in revenue um, for all completely from free advertising like what we talked about in today's video. So in order to implement that, we have the tools and everything that you're going to need either on the side of this video or click on the link directly underneath this video, okay? And you'll be able to find out more details on everything that we talked about here. But I do hope this information was helpful. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. I had a blast filming this video for you today, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.